In this tutorial, we're going to create the design elements of this document. That is, everything but the text. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing we want to do is set up guides so that we have a reference point when placing pictures, shapes, and text boxes. Swift Publisher does have smart guides that we'll see in just a minute, but if we place our cursor over any ruler, click and drag, we get a permanent guide that we can place anywhere on our canvas. Before we start laying out our document, let's switch to the background layer. This is where we want to keep all of the background elements so that our document doesn't get too cluttered. Note that we can also add new layers, show and hide them, as well as choose whether or not they are printable. At the top of the main window, we have our text and drawing tools. Let's take a look at some of them. Within this button, we have two different tools, the rectangle tool and the circle tool. Let's take a look at the rectangle tool, and do note that the circle tool works in the exact same way, but draws circles instead of rectangles and squares. With this tool, we can draw color-filled rectangles and squares for background elements. The color and fill type of drawn objects can be changed in the Appearance tab of the inspector. We have the option of using a color fill, linear gradient, or radial gradient. Let's stick with color fill and select a color that we like. The nearby button contains the line and the spline tools. Though we won't use these tools in this design, let's take a look at them. The spline tool, similar to the pen tool in Adobe programs, gives us a powerful and intuitive way to create freehand shapes. Let's activate it. Move the cursor to the canvas and start drawing. Click once to make our first point. Move away and click and drag to make our second point and to curve the line. Draw the rest of our points. To close our shape, we need to just click on the first point. Note that we have the ability to alter the position, curve, and type of our lines after we've drawn them. When we click on a point of a curved line, we can change the angle using the handles that appear. Double-clicking a point changes its type from curved to straight, and vice versa. We can add a point anywhere on our shape by selecting it, right or control clicking, and choosing Add Midpoint. Likewise, we can delete a point by clicking on it and pressing the Delete button. The Line tool is similar to the Spline tool, but lets us draw a straight line with two endpoints. So what about adding pictures to our document? For this, we have a built-in clip art collection in the source panel to the left. It contains over 2,000 images broken up into categories. Note that you can expand this to over 40,000 upon purchasing the extras pack from BeLightSoft.com. Next to that is the photo section where we can import photos from our photos library. We'll get to this in just a second. Further to the right is a collection of so-called smart shapes that can be added and controlled in the Geometry tab of the inspector. The Headings tab contains 2D and 3D artistic headings that can be used to decorate your document. For now, let's jump back to the Photo section and choose a photo album. Adding a photo from any tab of the Source panel is as simple as dragging and dropping it to the canvas. After that, we can resize it using the corner handles. And if we place the cursor just a bit farther away from the corner handle, we can also rotate the image. Swift Publisher has quite a few different features for editing images. One is the built-in editor that we get when we double-click any image. Powered by our own image tricks, it offers tons of adjustable core image filters to spice up your photos. Another great feature for images is the collection of over 100 image masks found in the Appearance tab of the inspector. We can apply these to any raster images in our project. Having said that, let's go ahead and finish up this section of our design. We're almost there. The last thing that we could do to tidy it up a bit would be to add some outlines to our pictures and triangles to get a white border between all of them. We can add a border to any object by selecting it, going over to the Appearance tab of the Inspector, and checking Stroke. We have full control over its appearance, including stroke type, 
color, and thickness. Our design is now complete, but how can we take a look at it without all of those guides and object boxes? By clicking on the Preview Mode button in the toolbar. So what do you think? That's a wrap for the design tools of Swift Publisher. Make sure you catch the next tutorial on working with text. See you then.